Uh, hello, I'm Bob Lujano, Inclusion Specialist for the National Center on Health, Physical Activity and Disability. And for the last 40 years, I've been a quadrilateral amputee, or I've had amputations uh, below the elbow and above the knee. Today, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the workouts I, as an amputee, experience about two or three times a week. How those miles of exercise in general might look a little different for an individual with amputations. And things that you should be aware of if you are a trainer. So, let's get to working out. My amputations are below the elbow and above the knee. Other type of amputees can be below the knee, which is BK, above the elbow, hand, or foot. You can also have a shoulder or hip amputation, which is referred to as a hip or shoulder disarticulation. Amputations can be unilateral, meaning just on one side, or bilateral, like my own, which would be both sides. I contracted a rare form of meningitis when I was a child that led to my amputations. Since that time, I've been actively engaged in wheelchair sports. In my 30 plus years in adaptive sports, I participated in wheelchair basketball, competitive swimming, wheelchair tennis, hand cycling, 5K races, and just recently retired from the sport of wheelchair rugby after a 25 year career. Throughout these visits, I was fitted for prosthetic hands and legs. I also was told that exercise was a very important aspect of my recovery and to reduce phantom pain. Phantom pain is where you feel pain in a limb that is not there, and it can be very real and very painful for some individuals. It is often temporary, but 40 years later, I still have phantom pain, but it became very clear early on that exercising would help minimize the effects of the phantom pain. I have never had any medication to take for phantom pain, but other individuals may have to, and you should be aware of any side effects those medications may cause. I eventually developed a use of prosthetics, the biggest issue was dealing with skin sores due to overuse of prosthetics. I was told how I would needed to take care of my own skin with lotion and to make sure that I was wearing the proper prosthetic socks. Some people may need to be aware of the skin breakdowns caused by their prosthetics, but others may not have any feeling in the tip of their amputation and may not be aware of the skin breakdown. So be sure to check in and to check on your skin regularly. Here are my artificial arms. These prosthetics are also called hooks. These prosthetics are called cuffs that I wear in helping to push my everyday chair. This protects my skin from being cut and scraped while pushing my wheelchair. It is made from carbon fiber and rubber. I have a separate set used for sports like wheelchair tennis, wheelchair rugby, and basketball. I always wear prosthetic socks while using these cuffs for sports activity. In some instances, you can think of a prosthetic like you would think of a shoe, and not all prosthetics are created equal or designed for certain things. Uh, just like high heels are not designed for running, some prosthetics should not be used to run or jump. So you need to check with an individual to learn the capabilities and comfort level of the prosthetics they have. Many individuals with a lower limb amputation may choose to use a wheelchair to ambulate when working out. You need to ask them if they are comfortable getting out of their chair to exercise, or if they prefer to stay in their chair. With exercise, it is important to note that individuals with lower extremity amputations have a greater energy expenditure while doing cardio than those without an amputation. So be cautious on how hard you are asking them to work. Be sure to focus on working their balance and exercise both sides. Do not just leave the limb with the amputation out of the workout. You can use adaptive equipment as necessary. When I exercise, I focus on using short or small movements like when I'm doing biceps and tricep exercises and all upper body exercises. I use this balance ball to make sure that I am balanced and using proper technique to complete the exercise. I do not use weights anymore, instead I use TheraBands because TheraBands do not place any added stress on my joints. Amputees that wear prosthetics may prefer to use machines that allow them to sit on the equipment or to stand. Exercise machines are going to provide them with more stability than using free weights. With aerobic activities, I prefer to push in my multi-sport chair, my rugby chair. I also will use a treadmill. It is important for you to get to know your client and their preferences and the type of prosthetics that they use so that you can prescribe exercise that they enjoy and can execute efficiently.